Hi there, it's day 17 of Yogtober and it's the 17th and I'm doing a nighttime yog. So I'm here and I hope you can see me all right in the light from our kitchen. And I'm just gonna um, start because it's blooming freezing. So I'm gonna start by getting the blood pumping. I can never uh, fail with some squats. So I'm gonna bring my feet quite close together, hands at my chest, and I'm just gonna go up and down, nice and deep squats. I'm counting 10, so we're gonna do 10 just normal squats. Push your palms together, nice straight back. When we've done 10, just stay squatted down and just reach your arms up like a chair pose, gazing ahead, chest forward, and relax the shoulders away from the ears. Hold it there in this chair pose and then swing the arms up and back as you straighten the legs. So return to your chair, swing the arms. Return to the chair and swing. Okay, final time, swing. Okay, and stand. All right, we'll just go a little wider. So just angle the toes slightly out, shoulder distance with the feet. And again, here we go with the squats. So 10 again. Okay, I'm not feeling cold at all now. Hold it there and we'll do a really wide sort of chair pose again. So just hold, hold this position. The chest beaming forward, stay there and then swing your arms back and straighten the legs. Same thing again, you know the drill. So just from the side, it looks like this. Reaching up in the chair, swing as you straighten. Chair, straighten. Okay, and then just stand. So we'll go wider again, wider, wider, wider. Just angle the feet out to the sides, shoulders roll back and down, and just bring your hands in to prayer and down again. So 10 of these. Done. And then we stay down, reach up like a chair, a nice wide chair. Hold. Deep breaths. And then straighten the legs, swing the arms up and back. This time interlace the fingers and just pull the arms back over. Let's do that again. Chair pose, swing back. Chair pose. Swing back, wide chair, swing back, wide chair, and swing. And then just stand up normally and just do a little jog on the spot. Get the legs nice and high. Relax the shoulders. Great. And then we're just going to bring your hands here towards the chest again and jump forwards or lunge forwards with the left leg straight back and then the right so you're doing like a high lunge i'm going to count to 10 again 10 is the magic number push those hands together Once you've done 10, we're just going to celebrate with a yoga pose. So same thing as you were lunging and just like really dig the ball of the foot in, a straight energized leg at the back. And yeah, I'll do it from the side so hopefully you can see a bit better. What does reach in this high lunge? Ooh, lovely. Clap the hands together at the top and just open out to the side. So if it's your left leg, 
look left, forward and left. So we'll do five of these on this side, that's three, four, five, done. So just swap sides, so we change legs, make sure you get a nice firm footing, check you're on rails and, and not a tight rope, energise the back leg, push into the ball of that foot and just do a nice high lunge just to begin with, leaning back and opening that chest, keep everything soft and relaxed and we open out to the right, five of these, opening out, I've got a wobble on, Okay then, bring the feet in, I'm going to shake out the hands, shake out the legs, shake, 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 lovely, and then come all the way down into a kind of malasana, squats, our feet are flat to the floor, and just extend the neck nice and long, and just chest high, imagining that thread of energy going from the tailbone up and out through the crown of the head, really nice for your inner thigh this one. Okay, and then lean into the left leg, get your arm, get your shoulder nudging into your knee, hand down. I'm just going to slide this leg so that you can try and get a flat foot, so I'm going to shift the weight a little bit, flat foot down here and extend it here and just balance, balancing here. That's really good. Stretching that inner thigh, hip adductors, that's it. And bring your hands to, to the floor for your squat and just switch. So I'm just gonna bring that foot down, support yourself, kicking up with the other leg so you can just you don't have to rush into these poses, just get, get it right. And then we're here, balancing flat foot on the right, left foot nice and high, and just stay there, stretching that inner thigh out. And forward, shift all the weight up and back. And if, with this time, we're going to do the high lunge pose again. So let's take the right leg back, left leg forward. We'll do that position that we were at before. So you kind of like a twisted one, and then lean back to touch the leg and reach. So you're in this sort of like twist, like twisted high lunge position, like this. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to reach up five times on each side, stretching out. A touch and a reach, reach and a touch and a stretch, okay. and the final one. And on that final one, let's take it to the edge. Bring your hands in, lovely twist. Energize that back leg. Get nice and deep into the into the uh, the twist, and you can open outwards if it feels okay. Oops. Hands together at the centre, other side. We change legs basically like that. Great. So just turn the other way. And five of these reaches. So the right hand is touching the left leg. And then up again. We reach. Oh, lost my balance. <laughs> Reaching up. We reach. Up and back. Gosh, struggling with this side. Up and back, and up and back. That's it, once you're there, let's do the twist. Nice twisted high lunge. Ooh, I'm looking at a nice mottled moonlit sky. Very zen, very beautiful. Good, doing yoga outside, tell ya, tell ya. Always the best way. Okay, just jog that off. Press reset. Jog, jog, jog. And then you can do one of two things, sort of a bird of paradise esque thing. We're just going to bring this left leg up, hook your left arm underneath, and just stay there and try and balance. What you can do is try and bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend, straighten. 
better. Okay, and if it feels all right, what you can do with this one is to get the, I'm just figuring it out then, you sort of dive down, get that shoulder into the knee like we were practicing before, and arms sort of out, and then you reach back and try and find each other. Then you bend the standing leg. Oopsies, I lost it. So you just sort of like get some firm ground, hobble around a bit. Once you rise high, kick out and in. It is challenging. So make sure you're on firm ground, you reach around, catch hold of your hands behind your back, take it steady, and you can kick out and down, up and down. So one, that's two ways. So you could either hook the arm under and do that, or try underneath and hook. Right, so next side. I'm just gonna show you the easy one first. Hooking round, arm comes out to balance. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Then my other version, shoulder to the knee. Take your arms all the way around the back. Standing leg is strong. Hop, 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 find your balance. Whoa, it's the balancing that is challenging and staying focused on something ahead of you always helps. Then straighten. So this is bird of paradise jogging style. Nice, really good stretch for all parts of the body. That's brilliant. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down to the ground. It's a bit of a hard floor. I'm just going to do my cat curls. I'm doing this basically so I can see the clock and see if we're well, nearly ready to finish. A few more, I think, yet. So we can round the back and dip. Just rounding and dipping. Tuck your toes under. Let's do the downward facing dog. Extending. The hips to the sky, shake the head loose, nod a bit, and just breathe deeply there. Let's take the left hand to the right ankle and just see if you can actually twist that underneath. Keep looking underneath. There we go. Other side. Oh yeah, feels good. And then just come down to plank. Let's hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knit the knees together. Flick up this right foot. Spin over to the left as you get the touch down of the toe. Push the hips up. Squeeze everything and just go into a nice little wild thing. Looking up and back. And then reaching with the other hand. Let's try the other side. So you just do your plank your left knee flicks up spin and over really nice and slow as you reach up and over and then out and back good and then just try and come down to the ground down to the knees resting your hands on the knees shoulders back and down chin down to the chest move a slow circle Make sure you go both ways. Namaste.